Remember when Claris updated the FileMaker server admin console back in FileMaker 17 and suddenly we don't know how to configure FileMaker server anymore? Welcome back to the channel. This is Wei Hao at Direct Compact Solutions. Today I'm going to show how to create an SSL certificate signing request using the FileMaker admin console, a new feature in FileMaker server 19.3.1. It's actually not accurate to call it a new feature because it used to be available in FileMaker Server 15 and 16. Then when Claris pushed out FileMaker Server 17, it was removed from the admin console and made only accessible via the command line interface until now. With FileMaker Server 19.3.1, by popular demand, it's back. So, why do I want to create an SSL certificate signing request or CSR for short? Simple, to obtain an SSL certificate to enable encrypted connections. For FileMaker, this means the SSL certificate will secure the traffic between your FileMaker server and your FileMaker Pro, FileMaker Go, FileMaker Web Direct, and FileMaker Data API. By secure, I mean even if hackers intercept the data transferred in between, they still cannot decrypt the data to understand them. So your traffic is protected. Sounds quite important, right? It is. Unless your IT department encrypt your traffic in other ways, all FileMaker servers used for production should have an SSL certificate issued from a supported certificate authority. Enough talking. Let's see how to create a CSR. First, log into your FileMaker server admin console and go to the configuration tab. On the left, go to the SSL certificate tab, then click the create CSR button. On the dialog, for the domain name field, fill in the fully qualified domain name for your server like this. Let's say you have multiple subdomains like these. If you want to obtain a wildcard certificate that encrypts subdomains as well, you can use something like this to indicate that. For the organization field, fill in your company's full name. And for the organization unit field, fill in the name of your organization or department. For city, Fill in the city where your server is located, not where you are, where your server is. For state or province, fill in the full spelled out state or province where your server is. And for country, use the two letter code for the country where your server is. For the United States, it's US. For Canada, it's CA. Now, for the encryption password, Fill in a hard to guess password that is not 12345. You're going to need this password once you obtain your certificate and import it. So write it down somewhere safe. Confirm the password by entering it again. As I said, it's not 12345. Then click create. Done. The next step is to go to your FileMaker server installation folder. In there, you will find a subfolder named CStore. You can find both the request file named serverrequest.pem and the private key file named serverkey.pem inside. Copy the request file and provide it to the certificate authority. Then wait for them to issue you an SSL certificate. Keep the private key file. You need that together with the encryption password when importing the SSL certificate later. That's the end of the video. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. We publish FileMaker videos every week. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.